Tell me about motorcycles. What I mean, what I'm interested in is mm -hmm. is kind of what the the sensation is, the the pleasure is in riding a bike. You've got to be a little suicidal in a way that you they they're actually quite safe uh, and people don't get hurt. When they do get hurt, they get hurt very badly. Uh, bones stick out and skulls get cracked. And, but uh, uh, I never had any accidents and I, I enjoyed, well, I enjoyed the fresh air. I enjoyed this, the feeling of freedom. Uh, freedom is really something that motorcyclists ride for. They were passing all sorts of laws that you had to have a helmet on your head and every motorcyclist just said, what, what is that about? I mean, you're trying to destroy our sport. When I got out of the hospital, mental hospital, I applied to renew my pilot's license. I'd had a student license way back, and they said, no, you have been in a mental hospital. You are grounded for life. And so I tried to look for something that would be similar to flying. And I found actually motorcycling was not only cheaper than flying, it was a lot more interesting because the what you're looking at is right up front. It's changing all the time everywhere. You're going around corners, curves, and things, whereas when you're flying a, a plane, it's, it's moving, but not very fast. It's moving like a map underneath you, and not quite as interesting. The Japanese motorcycles were coming in just as I bought this cycle, and uh, people didn't realize how good they were. Some of the mechanics were taking them apart. They said, it's kind of like a Swiss watch. It's beautiful. Everything is, is uh, unbelievably good. Now, people know from the Hondas and Toyotas uh, of similar design that, uh, that the Japanese were doing work like they'd never done before in history. And so I was very proud of that motorcycle. I could rev it up to 95, 100 miles an hour. That's, that's all I wanted to go. And, and, uh, and it, had, it had enough uh, capability to take me anywhere I wanted to go. And I've still got it, and I still love it, and it's a wonderful machine. Back to the book, I think Bob obviously thought something can be done with this technology. That's his expertise. He used to write technical books, and uh, uh, that was his job to explain how to set up the washing machine and this and that, and uh, he made a living off of this. And uh, I enjoyed him more, ironically, for his humor. Yeah, I just wanted to get on that bike and see things and talk about things. And uh, during my descent into madness, I became that Orpheus figure. I saw him go through the of the dead. I saw the, the buildings of the Chicago were the buildings he showed in that film. I said, here we are walking among the dead. I've got to get out of here and say, tell people what I see. This was madness. I've never repeated it in my books because it was too dangerous. I can say it now because i got this friendly crowd. <laughs> but uh, you, I, David, you hit it. You're, you're right on it. Uh, uh, you're, you're going very deep into something I've avoided yeah, talking. And uh, yeah. this yeah. pursuit of the myth could be continued in a, in a great way. I think you're on it. I hope you make that film. <laughs>